So hi Andy, it's Hello. fantastic to see you today. And, and you too. This amazing unveiling event. This has been a huge project that you have project managed. So many different groups, so many quilters and individual friends and members of Terry's Inner Circle as well as THT. And what has been your experience of actually project managing this event? Incredible. Meeting and working with so many amazing people, so many skilled people, passionate, involved, but also some that had no, some people had knowledge of quilt, they were experienced quilters, but had no knowledge of HIV. So we're kind of meeting in the middle, whereas, you know, I work in the HIV sector, I have no uh, understanding of quilt, no knowledge of quilting. So they've been teaching me, I've been teaching them. It's kind of, it's been great and just, yeah. It's just been such an enjoyable experience. Fantastic. And what has been the highlight for you then of the project overall? Is it today? Seeing this, seeing this coming from like one small idea at the beginning of our planning for our 40th anniversary of Terry Siggins Trust and then having it all come together and unveiling this today from some sketches on paper and talking to the designers um, and then building some working groups. Amazing. It's incredible to see today. And everybody really joyed about it and connecting today. It's brought a lot of people together, which is fantastic. It's amazing. And, and what has been your experience then of working with the Guild, partnering on this project? How have you found that? Very smooth. They're such a lovely bunch of people and they all seem to know each other. It's such a nice, warm community, really friendly, lovely people and I've actually made friends with them now. It's not like just work connections. I'm kind of friends with them. I've, you know, some of them have come to THT events. It's kind of like, you know, we, we have WhatsApp. We, we, we're kind of, well, I mean, we're friends now, which is great. So I feel, although I'm not a quilter, I feel I've become an honorary kind of part of the, the community, which is lovely. And likewise, they've become part of our Terence Higgins Trust family. So it's, it's amazing. Yeah. That's fantastic. And if you had to pick one thing, what has been the most surprising thing that you have experienced in the making of the quilt in terms of has anything, has anything surprised you? Have you kind of challenged your conceptions about what quilt making is about? Absolutely. I've learned so much about quilting that I never knew before. I've learned to embroider, so I'm one of the one of the panels at all these embroidered hearts and uh, Sarah was teaching me how to embroider. She did me a little workshop. So we, we you know, some of us were on Zoom and she was teaching us how to embroider from, you know, uh, writing, you know, people's thoughts and kind of embroidering them. Um, but also that quilting is a very modern thing as well. So kind of like, you know, some of the different textiles that have been used, for example, the luminescent fabrics. It's like, you know, you think of a quilt and you think, for me anyway, a quilt is something that I'm sleeping with, but it's just kind of, you know, it's amazing, the variety. Um, but also the surprising thing is kind of, I mean, the HIV world and the quilters world, I mean, very separate. But actually when we talk to people, it's actually people have been sharing their stories, very personal stories about family, friends that were affected by the HIV virus then, now, you know, it's amazing just to kind of have that kind of connection come together. And it's just kind of, you know, a sharing of, of stories and kind of, you know, um, information. Thank you so much, Andy. That's all right. Thank you.